I'm Scott Winter. I was lucky enough to run Little Norway for 31 years and I've been working here for this is my 35th su summer. And the Norwegian delegation came from Orkdal, Norway, where this building was created 122 years ago, and they are going to take it home, take it back to where it was built, and they're also going to put it on the Tom's Company uh, property, which the Tom's, Christian Tom's Company, built the building 122 years ago. It's kind of amazing. They did it in less than 90 days from the time that they made a commitment to do it to the time it got on a boat to come to America was just 90 days and they didn't have any plans for the building at the time they threw 300 people at it. So now the people that have come here, it's a 13 person delegation, every single one of the people have an expertise in part of what it might be, whether they're expert on uh, state churches or they're an engineer or they are, um, uh, I'm sorry, but there's so many things that they've done and they all work together very well. Is there any church that has been this traveled? There can't be. I doubt in America there cannot be a church that has been this well traveled. Think about it. It comes from Norway. It goes to Chicago. It was a big hit at the World's Fair. It goes to Lake Geneva. as part of uh, the Wrigley Estate in Lake Geneva, a movie house actually. And then it comes here 80 years and now it's going to go back to Norway. Yeah, I can't imagine any church, much less many buildings, if any buildings, have had this kind of repatriation of a building. America takes them from another land and brings them to America, but never this kind of size has ever been. We had it researched and they agreed, yes, this is probably the biggest uh, transferring it back to home in the United States history.